See? There's four lightning right there in New York. All right, guys, it's time for this Texas, Colorado boy to head to New York. No, I'm not going to take my lightning, but I'm going to show you in this video what to do when you're not taking your uh, Ford Lightning on a trip. You know, it's not just about, is it going to be okay? I've already done a video. I'll put a link in the description. So I left it for a while in the winter. It was totally fine. So we're going to go to New York. I'll show you some footage of that after afterwards. But there have been several people for some reason that have been concerned, and I was before I owned a Lightning, what to do when you actually do go on a trip, like how do you make sure the battery stays good? Do you plug it in? Do you leave it plugged in? What do you do? All that kind of stuff. Well, I'm going to show you because I'm going to head off to New York. I'm going to show you three main things that you do, and I'm going to show you whenever I come back how the, how the truck handled. And so this is going to be more about what to do to make sure that your truck or uh, your EV, any kind of EV, is actually um, the battery stays optimal and you make sure that it uh, that it lasts as long as it can and that, you know, leaving it sitting there is not going to impact it at all. So we're going to do that. Like right now, if you look here, I'm actually at 54 percent. I don't understand. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> so I'm actually at 54 percent and it's 88 degrees. It's actually going to get pretty warm here uh, this week while I'm gone. So I'm going to be gone for a full week and we're just going to test this out and I'm going to show you what to do. And the first thing is it's at 54%. If you notice, most people won't think that's a that big of a deal. But the first thing that you do whenever you're going to leave your car for a while, you actually leave it at 50% or below is what Ford uh, recommends. And so we're going to do that. So that's the first thing. I'm going to drive it around for a little bit and I'm going to actually leave it at 50% or a little bit below there. So we're going to go uh, and then uh, I'm going to actually show you the three things that I do. So I drove around for a little bit. I actually got it down to 43%. Now let's go through the three things. At least that's the three things that, that I believe will actually keep my battery going great or just keep everything optimal and uh, so first thing is actually you make sure it's at 50 percent or a little bit below that so I got mine down to 43 percent had to run some errands and everything so now the second thing is let's come over here I'll show you the second thing is you do not plug it in you leave it alone you do not plug it in you just kind of, I leave my uh, cord just hanging there. And, and then I unplug my charger from the wall. So I know that seems really, really simple. You keep it under 50% and then you unplug it from the wall and you don't plug it in. So I don't leave my truck plugged in. And then it seems to work fine. I've done this before on other trips and this is what works great for me. And so the reason why is just like you, just like what I've been showing you about leaving uh, pro power turned off whenever you're driving and it saves you range. I like to unplug my charger because, you know, I don't want to waste any electricity or it kind of saves it a little bit. So, yeah, well, I'm going to go to New York now. I'll show you some pictures and everything and you get to see that. Uh, and then whenever we come back, I'll actually talk to you about, uh, we're, we'll see how this is, how the truck handled and everything. The truck, I've left it alone several times. It's actually total, it's going to be totally fine <laughs> to do this. It is going to be hot. So it's going to be inside of a garage in the heat. So that, so that can, people may think that can impact it, but it's not going to impact it. It's going to be fine. Um, but the other thing to note is that this is for like a week long trip. So if you're only going for a couple days or something, you could probably leave your uh, truck plugged in if you wanted to uh, like get it charged up. I've known there are some airport parking lots that have chargers and stuff. So you could plug it in if it's just gonna be a couple or three days or something like that, that's fine. But if you are doing like a week or more, I would definitely recommend 
what I'm telling you about is actually for if you're going to be doing like a week or more, going to be gone. So what will happen is after probably about after a day or two, the truck will go into deep sleep. So basically after you come back, the screens will be black and they won't like do the fancy little Ford logo and all that kind of stuff. It just goes into deep sleep mode and it's fine. I won't even access the app while I'm gone. You don't need to check on the truck. It'll be, it'll be good to go. So anyways, let's go to New York and have some fun and I'll check back with you whenever we get back. This one is amazing, and you should try it if you're here. So just thought I'd give you a little quick note. We're excited. All right, welcome back. New York was an exciting, fun place. We did lots of fun things. We got to see the Statue of Liberty. That's my first time seeing that. That was pretty neat. And then we got to see all kinds of stuff. And there's tons of electric vehicles there. <laughs> as, you could, as you could tell, there was a lot of Teslas, strangely enough. But, but I did see a Cybertruck and, a, and even a Lightning and Rivian. And uh, it seemed like uh, it was basically electric car city there. <laughs> Uh, but we had a lot of fun. We got to eat some great food uh, as well as see some great monuments. And uh, yeah, it was it was it was a blast. But anyways, you don't really care about that. You just want to know how the truck did. So I'll just tell you, actually, it's still at 43 percent and that's really good. But what you probably want to know is, OK, what do you do after after you get back? And I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. So we're going to come over here. This is unplugged, so you simply put, you plug it back in, and then it'll go blue, and everything should be good. Now, something that's happened a couple of times, whenever I plug that into the truck over here, it actually will uh, go red. But just remember, it's electronic, so if it does, you just do a little reset. You just unplug it. You wait for about 30 seconds and then you plug it back in again. So you don't have to do any special waking up procedure for the truck. All you gotta do is you just come over here and you just plug it back in and it'll get charged up and ready for your next little work week here. So let's see, there we go. Now it's charging. So no red, everything seems to be good. Let's see if, yep, all that's blue. But whenever you get in the truck, so if you notice, whenever it goes into deep sleep mode like this, basically the screens are black. You know, all you gotta do is you get in and you start it up. And you just start it up and then it'll do its thing. And that's basically all you do. So again, nothing special whenever you go somewhere for a long time. Just know that the truck will be in deep sleep mode and it does that to save battery and it shouldn't use very much of even the 12 volt battery. <laughs> it actually, Ford did a great job with this. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know in case you were in case you were curious about what to do when you actually go on a trip and you leave your lightning. So again, the three steps are you basically get it to where it's 50% or below on the battery. Just drive it around a little bit if you're a little bit above that. And then you just leave it unplugged 
and then unplug the charger from the wall. If you have a charger that actually uh, you can't really unplug it, like I use the portable charger, you could just go turn the breaker off or whatever that goes to the charger. It's not really a big deal. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching and I uh, hope this was informative for you. Again, I'll put it in the description. You can actually see what happens in the winter. This is in the summer. It's been getting over 90 degrees every day here in Colorado Springs. So, and not very much rain. So it actually was pretty warm in the garage, but no issues uh, with that, with the battery. Everything seemed to start up just fine. And uh, yeah, I plugged it in. I'm gonna get it charged up for, for next week. So this is gonna be awesome. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any more questions about your Ford Lightning and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.